Oh man, I've been waiting for this one almost five years after the release of the first one terabyte micro SD card. SanDisk has released at the end of this year 2023 the first 1.5 terabyte micro SD card. Since this video is designed to be short, let's immediately talk about the specs. As you will unfortunately encounter on all storage devices, there is a gap between the claimed capacity and the actual available capacity for the user. Here it is 1.39 terabytes, so you lose, yes, 110 gigabytes, which is quite a lot. You have to know this. This card is actually 1.39 terabytes and not 1.5 actually. In terms of reading speed, SanDisk is claiming up to 150 megabytes per second, which is, as always, a bit too optimistic for real life. You will actually get around 90 megabytes per second, which is not the fastest at all, but still decent to play at any game on your handheld device, or listen to any music or watch any video that is stored locally on your device. In terms of writing speeds, let's face it, it's not very fast. You will get around 20 megabytes per second, which is actually pretty slow. This transfer rate is pretty stable though, so in an hour you will be able to transfer around 70 gigabytes of data. If you don't really know what these numbers mean, they mean that this microSD card is not the best for a camera that shoots 8K videos. It is way better for mass storage for devices like a Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck or a Rogalai. The games will be a bit slow to transfer into the card, but once they are there, you will be able to play them comfortably. And also, this card is perfect for someone like me who wants to have all his music with him and my movies and my photos too. I'm able now to have a lot and a lot and a lot of everything with me all the time. In terms of pricing, this card has been launched at a price of $140 in the United States and €176 Euros in Europe. So, yes, it is a lot of money, but it's not shockingly expensive considering the launching price of the 1TB version back in the days. Now, should you buy it? Well, it's up to you. But think about it, so much storage in such a small card? Hmm, isn't that crazy? Well, make your choice, but I did mine, I bought it. Anyway, thank you for watching, and if you have any question, feel free to ask it in the comments.